Sarah here with Luna Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in for another soap making adventure. I had promised I was going to do three all natural colorant soaps. And so here is the final one. I was contacted by Wholesale Supplies Plus. Um, they came out with seven new fragrances for their spring and summer collection. And they asked me if I would be interested in trying any of them and I was like absolutely. I've been wanting to do an avocado soap. I have a napkin around here somewhere for this mess. So that is what I am going to be doing today. The fragrances that they sent me, they all sound very wonderful, but there was one in particular that stood out to me and it is called Fresh Basil and Heirloom Tomato. And I just thought, I've gotta do some all natural colorants. We should do some avocado. Um, I've, I've asked for some aloe butter. I've never put that in soap before. I've got all natural colorants. We've got some spinach powder, some basil powder, alfalfa powder, and tomato powder. And I just thought a garden soap just sounds like it needed to be done because I am ready to garden. I'm ready to get my seeds started. And this is just going to be a delicious soap. <laughs> if you're interested in, in making this, I'm going to actually leave measurements down below and try to, to walk you through step by step so this is going to be a little bit different. I am using this Crafter's Choice, the regular mold. I'm trying to make this like 100% Crafter's Choice. Everything that I'm using, you can buy 100% on Wholesale Supplies Plus to give it a go. To start off, I have about two ounces of avocado here and I'm going to mix it up with some of my oils because I want this to be pureed. I don't want any avocado chunks in the soap. So we're going to get that mixed up with some of the oils and then we're going to add it to our oils. So this is all room temperature, by the way. Let's get that avocado mixed in so we can add it to the rest of the oils. So it looks like we have a nice little avocado smoothie going on here. And we're gonna add this to our oils. I did change up my recipe for this as well to incorporate the aloe butter um, and there's no sunflower in it. So it's not my typical recipe, but I wanted to try something new and do some aloe butter and aloe or aloe butter and avocado for this recipe. So we're gonna get that mixed in once again into the rest of these oils before we add in our lye solution. So this isn't at a trace yet, but it is all fully incorporated so there's no separation or streaks of oil in the batter. It makes a very, very pretty green color. It is going to turn very ugly <laughs> because of the lye solution. Um, avocado will tend to sort of add a little bit of a green tint to your soap, but it's not going to do too much. Um, but like I said, we're using some all natural colorants. So I'm gonna split off some of this batter into the tomato powder that I have in this tiny cup. This is about a tablespoon and a half. I tend to measure all natural colorants with my heart because you can't really go wrong. All natural colorants aren't going to give you the bold, deep color that Micah's will, but again, it's an all natural colorant and it's going to fade a little bit and that's just what it does. Pour off about that much. We'll do a little in the pot swirl with this, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Add as much or as little as you like. So into the rest of this batter, I'm going to add the rest of my colorants. I'm hoping to get like a nice green color with all of this. So to start with adding some of the spinach powder into this about a teaspoon, bye teaspoon, <laughs> about a teaspoon of each. Next we'll go with the basil powder. Smells so good. And then last, the alfalfa. 
and we'll give each one of these a mix and then I will pour the fragrance in and tell you a little bit about it. Let's get this to a trace. So basically you want this at a thin trace and I like to test that by picking up the stick blender, just kind of like drizzling some of the soap that falls off and see if it sits on top. You'll see it'll make like a little trail on it. And that's how you know that everything is fully incorporated. All right, as you can see the tomato powder, it's not going to give you like a red, batter but it's going to give you kind of like a beige batter with red little speckles in it so that's the color we're getting from that and I love if they don't even show it <laughs> all the different little specks in that green so let's add in the fragrance the notes so the description says just after breakfast walking through a charming backyard garden reveals what is it? Where did I lost the place? Reveals notes of fresh minty basil and mist, dewy, resplendent tomato vine, sweet orange blossom, and damp earth. Now, I've used their, I believe it was a farmer's market fragrance, and it was, or was it the, I gotta look it up now. <laughs> Yeah, it was Farmer's Market Vine Ripe Tomato Fragrance, and it smells very similar to it. Um, if you like the smell of the tomato vine or leaf when you rub your finger on it, that's what I get, but it has more complex notes to it, like that basil that's in there. It gives you a very herb-like bite, and then the floral notes in there, and that little bit of damp earth, and it's just, it is so good. It smells so good. <laughs> so we're gonna mix that in by hand. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pour this tomato powdered batch into my big bucket and just give it a little swirl because we're gonna do an in the pot swirl on this and pour it into our mold. All right, we're just gonna pour this from way up high. Just kind of drizzle it all in there. I'm also going to scrape out this little container because we're not going to do anything with the top of the soap. So let's get this poured into our mold. So I'm just going to smooth this out because this isn't going to be the top of the soap. This is going to be the side of the soap. And then I'm going to give it a spray with some rubbing alcohol and let it sit for 24 hours. And then I'm going to go ahead and make up the embeds that are going on the front of the soap. And the reason why it is going, this is going to be the side of the soap and not the top. So once the bars are cut, I'm going to want to decorate them. And this is what they're going to be decorated with. This is some melt and pour in the shape of a seed packet. And this particular one is corn. I did a little test run to make sure that um, they looked good and I could unmold them easily and that they fit the size of the bar. So this mold also came from Crafter's Choice or Wholesale Supplies Plus. It's so cute. They're just little seed packets. Um, pumpkin, peas, we got some corn and some beets. And once the bars are cut and I've made all of these up, I'm going to melt some melt and pour, brush it on the back of it and stick it on the front of the bar. And that is going to be the decoration for this bar. They're just going to be like little vegetable seed packets, um, bars of soap. So I'm going to start off with some of the melt and pour by Crafter's Choice. This is the detergent free white. You can use the clear, you can use whatever melt and pour you like, but this is what I wanted. And I'm gonna color it in a couple different colors just for some variation. And I believe this mold holds one ounce of soap in each cavity, but I'm only gonna fill them up halfway. So I'm gonna cut up two ounces of soap and put it in my little cup here, melt it down in like little 30 second increments, add my colorant, Pour it into my mold, and once they are set up, I'll unmold them and do like a different color. I said that wrong. <laughs> this whole thing holds 16 ounces. 
Each one I think holds four ounces of soap. So I'm going to fill each cavity up with two ounces so that it's not all the way at the top and it's about halfway. look at the inside. All right. So we've got, always, always do this. I don't know how to fix this problem. <laughs> I'm just gonna move it out of the way, as usual. Per usual. All right, so we've got some Focus. There we go. We've got some swirls in there of the tomato powder. You can see that in there. It smells really good, just as good as it did in the bottle. Let's take a look at two more. There we go. So typically this would be the top, but we're not doing a top. We are going to get our little melt and pour seed packets and kind of like melt and pour glue them to the front of this soap. And that is going to be our vegetable garden inspired bar. So I'm going to do a couple more colors of these. I've got some brown setting up. And I don't know, I think it looks like a like a light pink or maybe a red or something. I still haven't quite decided. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, they will be available on the April 29th shop update. And thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned um, after I'm going to attach those seed packets and show you how that's done. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It doesn't hurt anything. <laughs> and if you are new and haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. And any questions or comments, leave them for me in the comment section down below. Recipe for this soap, I will also leave in the description box. Let me know if you try it. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. And I will smell you later.